Mike, how about all the stuff all my friends are sending me? I'm sending to you. I love it. I'm, we I, love I, it. I've got, yeah. I've got all this stuff for, to share tonight. Sure. They are so excited. Your fresh Hi, relative. Betty. Hi, Betty. <laughs> all sorts of stuff. I just have to help make sure I can get it on. Joe, you made it. Can you hear me? Yeah, we yes, can hear we can hear you. Oh. Where is your <laughs> IT person? <laughs> <laughs> I IT person. <laughs> IT support. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi Anita. Hi Betty. Hello. Hey Joe. You. Anita. Hi darling. Hi. I see. How I see, are you? Uh, I see. Uh, uh, and Alan's co Alan's cousin Ruth. Oh, sister. sister. Is this sister? Oh, the sister. His sister. Yeah. Not a cousin. Yeah. Oh, that was, that's not his sister. It's a sister, Ruth Feinberg, I think. It's no, no, cool. I'm, not, I'm not Ellen's cousin or sister. We just. Oh, I knew that. I blew it. We're, we're, we're just from the same shul. That's all. Well, that makes you a sister. Okay. Sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sisterhood. You know, as they say, Sisterhood. <laughs> so we're all related right. and friends. <laughs> David, are you separated from Anita? What's going I'm on? I'm here. Yeah, we split up for tonight. <laughs> no, no, she, she always, she, she, uh, she tells me to be quiet too much when I'm right over I here. Know, but I don't. Hey, Betty, what's master? What's master? What's master? What's master? Nicht a bris, I guarantee you. <laughs> it's not a bris. <laughs> How about a brisket? A brisket. Uh, that's what I'm a moyo carries, a yes. A brisket. A brisket, <laughs> right, exactly. Oh, Mike, Mike, what's the Oh, agenda? bad one. <laughs> I have a story. I don't Does know. Go have a Seder this year? Are we having a Seder? Yes. I am too. Yeah, Just we'll my it. children. We're, we're, yeah, I think children we will, may be yeah. also. We're, we're, sure. we're, we're doing now this uh, everybody that's been vaccinated Seder. Yeah. That's a good idea. But we're going to stay in town. young grandchildren? What do you do with them? We're they're not, coming. They're, not, they're going to stay at school. Okay. My grandchildren are coming, but they're younger. No, yeah. I just can't. I'm going to do it. Mom and I both have been vaccinated, and I'm just going to bite the bullet and do it. I'm not going to make a filter fish this year, though, because the fish have not been vaccinated, and they're hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you, I thought you were going to say Dennis Fisher wasn't here to catch him for well, you. Well, let me tell you what. Dennis Fisher has not been fishing because he always brings us fish. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It sounds like things have been wild for them. They've been moving houses. They have. They moved off the beach. Well, I saw him. He called me last Friday, right. and he says to me, um, can I leave my bike at your house? <laughs> because I can't come across Coleman. I said, it'd be my pleasure. So then he said, and it comes with a parking space. I said, I didn't give you a parking space for your car. <laughs> but he did, it's good. I got all kind of bikes. It makes me happy. Everybody yeah. can leave them there. So let's, let's give it another minute or two, Joe, and then I'll, I'll do the introductions. I see a lot of people joining in. Okay. So somehow. Thank you, jo thank you, Michael, for helping me with the link. I appreciate it. It's so good. Okay. Glad, glad to help. Thank you. Just, just, just for your information for everybody, it's, it's the same link every time. So, okay. so just use the last link. Somebody wrote me a note just uh, earlier this evening and asked if it was the same exactly. link, and it is. No, 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 no. The internet. Oh. And why did it show it was invalid when I tried to log on through the uh, through one of the websites? <clears throat> I don't, there, okay. There's a problem with some people's browser. I don't know what it is. And that's why we give the uh, uh, the password and the code so you could that, go in directly. That's so I got a few people that had that. But I, I think it's, I don't know which browser it is. All right. Esther, you're muted. I'm not used to you like this. <laughs> That's the Toronto girl. Who just spoke to me? I see yeah. lots of my Toronto That's people right. here. And Evie, Heather, 
Evie Eisenberg? Yeah, Evie Eisenberg is here. Good. We can't, we can't yeah. wait to hear. All I hear all week is Shirley talks about the uh, Toronto women. She said, you guys are a great group. Yeah. So, Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So why, why don't we get going? And Because it's, it's eight o'clock and I want to welcome everybody to our uh, Judicial Live. Uh, we've been, uh, I can't believe it, we started in June and we've been going every other week. And um, what, uh, what I just want to mention is, is that the Federation Jewish Men's Club is sponsoring this along with six other affinity groups. Um, next week, there's an affinity group on genealogy and, and using DNA. And I'll send a link out to everybody if you're interested. It's a very, very good session. So the, one administrative thing is that the second day of Passover falls on one of the Yiddish Alive sessions. <laughs> and we decided to move it back a week and stay on a two week cycle. Um, uh, Alan, Al Davis couldn't join tonight because he has a, a, a conflict and this will get us also into sync when he can join us. So we'll, everybody will move it back. April 5th would be instead of the 29th and then we'll do every, just every other week. Know. Yeah, and, and, and you'll, you'll get a note from that. We uh, again, we'd like to keep everybody on mute if you're not talking. And uh, I managed to figure out how to get 49 people on my screen so I can see everybody. And if you want to raise your hand to talk, um, you go to reactions at the bottom of the page and it says raise hand and I'll be able to see everybody unless we end up having more than 47. And I think we're, we're rapidly approaching something like that. Sure, yeah. And we have, yeah, we have, uh, no, no, I have 31 now, so we're okay, we're just fine. So anyway, what we're gonna to do tonight, I'm gonna hand it over to Joe to kick it off and, and, and Shirley's going to uh, do what, what, uh, what Alan does in terms of uh, the jokes and the sayings and so forth. Boy. So, and, and <laughs> Those one, are big shoes to fill. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, one, one of the things we encourage everybody is as much Yiddish as possible, uh, uh, Joe will have people translate where appropriate. And uh, so I'm gonna hand it over to, uh, to our partner in crime, Joe Rothstein. Hi everybody, I'm glad to see all the uh, smiling faces, uh, the usual uh, people who have joined us, but I am scanning to see if there are any new faces. If you're new to us, I see, oh, Heather Just Hoffman. Wait. I see you. Raise, raise, your, raise your hand and uh, in, in reaction, so we'll see it. Okay. Okay, we have Evie. We have who is Pad Seven? Oh, that's Estelle and Michael Wheeler. Okay. Well, well yeah, let, let me just interrupt you for a second. Please put your name on the uh, screen. So this way we, we're recording it and we know who was there. So you, you can do that by going to the participant page and then where it says uh, more you can change your name to whatever your name is. Instead of iPad 7, we can know who you are. And there's others that I don't think have it totally. I don't know how to do that. Wait, okay. we'll, well, we'll call you, we'll call well, you we'll iPad. We'll call you iPad. <laughs> <laughs> so why, why don't we start? Ich will mit, ich suchen iPad 7. My Yiddish is slipping tonight, isn't it? At the Kent Stimps Zugan Abyssalit, Fin Dynamish Buchet, Fin Vidi Kimps, Vidi Voints Yets, and Vios de Galer and Dine Yiddish, and at the Kent Stimps Dust Fartellen in Yiddish, Volt Gevain Zayer Shay. Take it away. Well, first of all, um, Nichok Gewaint in Chelsea, Massachusetts. Yes, in Lebanon, Longwood, Florida. There you are. Good day. We belong to Ohev Shalom in Maitland. And to the Hoban Adrai Kindle and Svei Enakal. Me Simon married, I can't think of married. Our highlight. 
by yeah. high right. Oh, okay. Hire it. Hire it. Um, Hire it. Hire it. Well, Galicia or Litvak, you know, I mean. Whoa. Yeah. Is the man? Yeah. <laughs> Estelle Wheeler. My man is Michael Wheeler. And uh, we grew up together in Chelsea. So it's a long time. It's a long time. And we also get here in this group, in this group. We also get here. The men's club. The men's club. The men's club. Uh, oh, okay, Shalom and, uh, mm -hmm. and Longwood. Yeah. Welcome. And Maitland. I'm a past president. <laughs> Welcome. Let's see. Who was Evie? Evie, can't send Zugna Bessel from Dinah Mishpoket, Vidi Kimps, Vias de Galagentine, the Yiddish? She speaks Yiddish. Uh, the, you have to unmute yourself, Evie. It's Evie, it's not me, someone else. Evie. Okay. Um, You're talking Evie. Evie's her name. Evie. At this point, <laughs> Esther and me have been, been cousins, cousinas. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. It's a Gavoin in Toronto, Canada. And if I could come and do in Canada, then if I could have been year old, it had born in Germany. Um, in Turkheim, Germany. Um, I had Nishka Vist as I had born in a DP camp. Um, mm -hmm. uh, only Efsha Sex or Zibin Yurisrik, I had Gefin and Dissoch. And. And the elder of Kaimul, their Nishka Zuktas? No. I had Gedentas, I had born in Turkheim. And I uh, have been in Papirin, in Washington, was a gazuct as if I have been in a DP camp. But side nishka redfindus, my mitter of of gehat drash vester and ein breeder, and kinda at nishka late, my footer a gehat fro. And Svai Kinder and Erica Hutt, um, uh, sex breeder, and Svai Schwesters, and kind of an Ein breeder at the late, and Eric Voint to New Jersey, in Heightstown, New Jersey. Um, ich hab drei Schwesters, and ich sehe, as ein Schwester is du, of in ich nicht gewiss, dass sie ist. Do gets <laughs> Naomi Herbloom. Her sister. Uh, Zvoin Tochet in Canada. And um, Ichab Dra Kinder. And Fear Ina Cliff. Okay. My Yiddish is so bad. <laughs> um, and Ichvoin uh, do the Gansale. My mitter and futur at the Gaddaf Gains to Israel. Um, after the Milfuma, um, but I had a, a great aunt was a good came into Canada um, before the war, and Zia Gafinima Mitter's Numa of a, a, a list of survivors, and Zia Gagunin to pluck and kit chickens, so bringing <laughs> over my my parents. <laughs> My yes. sister, my youngest sister, Naomi, read a better Yiddish than me. She is, is not Naomi. here yet. You say Yiddish. She is Naomi. Uh, I don't you see her picture. Oh, I saw her name. I, I see her. Yeah, we see her. Yeah, she okay. read a get a Yiddish. Lama read with Naomi a better. Okay, Naomi, your Naomi. turn. <laughs> Unmute yourself, Naomi. You need to unmute yourself. Good. Hi, uh, I'm Naomi. 
<laughs> and uh, uh, I hope you learned Yiddish with all the Kuten spielers. Shabbos <laughs> Panach. <laughs> all the men from the Kimmen spielen Kuten, and I hope you learned a Sach Yiddish. And we point in Toronto and have Dra Kinder and Dra Einekle and Maman. Oh, it is. Um, uh, Ma Futter and Zan Futter, okay, Arbit Zusammen in Starkovic of the Zelda Wagon and some Arbit Zusammen. And I hope you hope him curious. And yeah, this all this. Naomi, we we the Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. This oh, is yeah. a shame. This is a shame. Okay. Give us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did the bills tear in this? Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, of course. Heavy. Yeah. Okay. I hope it's not my As oh, As I get this. Okay. <laughs> Now, as I mentioned, the statement is uh, for fallen. So, the dust that I get me is the first time. Oh my God! Okay. <laughs> and my man is shamed. So, as he guys are, I got the hard, the hard one. Okay. So, okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. And and you know, this is your motto, okay? Okay, says Gewesen Dravansen. Right, what about a vans is a bed a bed bag. A vansen or bed bag. So the vansen haben gewindet wie so ein sein zu schluffen auf a Frau ein Nacht. So the erste the vans of your schluffen into the urum. The zweite vans of your schluffen the pipic. And the, the dritte vans of your schluffen wie the Sinnschad nicht. <laughs> Well, this is given the free, and what you freight the dravans in the new visa given to Schluffen the night. What you freight the airs to bands for such a Schluffen entered the urn, not you said no, visa given. Eric, you said, this is given a bissel horse, given nas, sick a stick in a bissel. No comments or so bang a Schluffen. What you freight the zweite bands for such a Schluffen the pipic, the visa given to Schluffen. <laughs> er hat gesagt, es ist gewesen ein bisschen hoher. Es ist gewesen finster, noch habe ich geschlafen. Oh. Ich habe gefragt, der dritte Wand ist gesagt, wie schlafen wir das in Schatten nicht. Ich habe gesagt, nur ein bisschen gewesen zu schlafen. Er hat gesagt, es ist gewesen hoher auf der linken Seite und hoher auf der rechten Seite. Es ist gewesen nass und es ist gestinken wie ein Fischmarkt. Komm mit zu uns, habe ich geschlafen. And the ran came to stick flies. And then the ran came in, the rosk again, and the ran came in, and the rosk again. As you have you said, as the kims the ran, and the guys the ros. And they so beleidigt that the ran is spritz and ganz in punem. Okay, am I thrown out of the group? <laughs> wow, you're in a Now you're gone. You're gone. I love that. Mine I love the best. It. <laughs> the best in the group of Ich Mind is creating a special uh, award. Award. <laughs> special. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should do some I, voting I, at the end. No, my man is a Schmutzica award. Wait, Sukhs, I be VTS Galartis joke. With the Kutin Spielers. No, Uncle Theo. No, no. no yeah, yeah. Not, uh, <laughs> so, so, my uncle told us to get, 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 get all, get all, um, get all, uh, uh, Moishot Yosek Tsigito, um, 
No geht dort ja so zu Mäuschen, du willst kommen zu meinem Platz zu essen etwas, so ist okay, ich will kommen. Okay, wenn du kommst zu meinem Platz, geh in der Kar, vermacht die Tür mit den Ellbogen. Wenn du gehst in der Hand zu meinem Building, öffnet die Tür, hält offen mit den Ellbogen. Okay. Und das kommen zu Apartment 305, das, ich will öffne die Tür, und das öffne die Tür und hält, hält offen mit den Ellbogen. So ist er hat gesagt, was ist das mit den Ellbogen? So er hat gesagt, die Geißen ist immer mit leidiger Hand, ne? No? Das ist sehr schön. Ich habe gehört, das wird auf Jiddisch. Was? Ich habe schon gehört, das wird auf Englisch. Aber kein Mann ist auf Jiddisch. Ich habe gesagt, das ist so komisch. Ich mag den Namen Abwinkel. Ein Dank für das. Okay. Joe, that, I think we still have a couple even, more people that, yeah. know, that were new. They enough is nigh to ins. Who's new with us? Raise it's been nigh. It's been nigh. They is this. Heather? Shana. No. Shana. Shana. Oh, Shana. Shana. Yeah, hi. Oh, hi. This, hi. This is nine the less, uh, uh, less uh, than woman. Unfortunate Madoff. Sh Madoff. Shana Madoff. Madoff. Oh. And can you read a bit of Yiddish? Yeah, I, I, I have uh, ständig read Yiddish with my family. Ah. Uh, with the Zayda, with the Bubba. Esther, you look beautiful. Yes, look thank you. Beautiful. I, I didn't I, recognize I, you. Shoshana, Shoshana is from Toronto originally. She lives in Chicago, but I'm Shoshana, a, we're like cousins. I don't know if we're really cousins, but we're like cousins. Our parents, yes, yes. Uh, my my in-laws and her mother. Kadena Hoare just turned 94. Four. Yeah, so amazing. Amazing. Yeah. 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 She's a survivor <laughs> also. I asked her what she will have. What wish does she have? So she said, she will not live my poor way. She will not live my poor way. That's the only thing that she will have. Every man will live my poor way. So gets me if in dear. We clink the to ins. We we I've been because uh, sort of cousins with Esther, and I've been I have lived in Toronto. I have also lived in I have born and in Deutschland in Stuttgart in a DP camp, and I've been going to say it's a school. In the new it's a school. I've been moved to Toronto. In my elder home, go hot that store of Kensington. Oh, so did we. <laughs> what is your name? Last name? Eisenberg. Eisenberg? We, we, my father had a chicken store. Oh, you were across the street, I think. <laughs> my, What's my elder home, go hot the Ungutier store. Oh, I did. Yeah. My got a store in Kensington. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been a guide to Toronto. Geier to Kensington, and I say all the Sachen kicked us the selbo. No, no, younger mention in a Weinig. My parent, my uncle had a store in Kensington. What was your um, uh, right across Lockman's Bakery? Oh, yeah. Inspin McGivays and uh, 191 Baldwin. What Baldwin what, bargain? Was was us the Gahandel? Was us the Dan Elton Gahandel? เอ่ออุ้งเอ่อชมัดดิสวินฮอดกะไฮซินดันสกิชัดเอ่อบาลวินบาร์เกนบาลวินบาร์เกนเอ่อบริดสโตนเทสไตล์บริดสโตนเท
Yeah. <laughs> I know them. I know them. Hingevik, the head and the bakeries. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Joe, I think so, there's still some more people that are new. I'm not so you, you see them? I raise your hands. Larry is new. Okay. Larry. 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 Heather. Let's, Larry. let's Heather look at Heather. Heather. Larry and then Heather. Heather. Okay. Larry first. Yeah. Yes. Where's Larry? Right here. The bottom. Ah, I've got the big screen. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hi. Uh, my Newman is uh, uh, Larry in, in, in Hebrew is Lab. My mother had good kimmen from um, Opatov, Poland. Oh, us too. And us too. Um, that's true. Is that right? Opatov? Yeah. And she talked a little bit about Opatov. It's given a, 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 a milk factory and she had given in the Ebershish. Uh, Upstairs from the milk factory in Opatov. I have given in Opatov. Me too. Sure. Trick. And I have given Zay and Ver Zay had Laban. And I have given in the cemetery with the, with the uh, graves. And um, uh, and uh, mine. Um, uh, they did have the bicycle store in Opatov. And uh, uh, fixed and sell uh, bicycles. Then is this given? Then, where you were? They had could come into America in nineteen hundred and Swansik. Whoa, in Swansik, yeah. We we went to. We went in um, Walnut Creek, California. Oh, oh. Yeah. okay. My um, Mr. Kevin from Apata also. also. Uh, yeah. Larry, we have to ask you a few questions because we have lots of people here from Apata because yes. we're all uh, our parents are there. How did your parents, your parents how, survived obviously? They came before the war or they after came, the war? They came before the war. They came in the 1920s. They came over when um Mutter Hatka Kimen uh, she had given a uh, 16 year old and she had Nishke sprechen English, no, no English. You know, there, there's a book that there's a book that's been written. Um, a friend of our uh, uncle painted, he was a painter after he retired, he painted, but he painted pictures of his memories of, of the town and they came also before the war. You may have pictures in there that you may relate to because when I went to his house to see his paintings, I saw a picture with my mother. I went with my mother. She said, he painted my father, my grandfather, because they were doing the cobblestone road. He even knew his name. And in that book, I, I should tell you, Evie, in that book is a picture that he brought. He may have something about the milk factory that you were talking about. I'll, I'll get the book and I'll show it to you. It's called, They Called Me Meyer. Is the name oh, of the book. Let's get it up. I've seen it. I have, uh, I have seen it. I went to the uh, museum in uh, New York City, the Jewish Museum. That's right. And he had a he whole had display of That's um, right. his, his work and his paintings. But he, right. he did it very late in his life. He painted those pictures. That's right. From he did it in 75 or 80. Beautiful yeah. pictures of uh, what the right. town was like, what the Shoichet was like, what the people were yeah. like. That's yeah, right. my name is and Meyer. I think is that is that is that that's the name? right. My name is yeah. My name is Meyer, and he passed away. But his daughter is the one who put the Poland Museum together, uh, and I think it's Krakow. Uh, it's a Jewish museum they just built in Krakow. Yeah, she oh. lives in New York. She has uh, she works in university. I think. What yeah. happened? What happened, world. In, what happened? What happened in that town uh, during the war? Was it destroyed? Were the Jews? Persecuted there? Liquidated. They, yes, they were all liquidated. Most, were, most of them were sent to Treblinka, where yes. they were were killed in Treblinka and the and the ovens. My mother it, it was lucky that the train stopped and they needed some women that smaller fingers to work in the factory, Skarzysko, to make the ammunition. So she was able to put the powder in. So it was all luck. You know. And my mother also. My father and your mother too. And as a matter of fact, there was a girl that I yeah. We're, we're going to stay on after nine so we can have a lot of just kind of discussion. I know Joe's got to, there's a couple others that want to be introduced and we'll uh, let's let's just stay on after nine and we can all chat together. Okay. okay. There's beautiful okay. Linda, Linda and Abe, they speak with Yiddish. Hi. Hi, yes. <laughs> 
We're also we, we have Abe and Linda. What's what's his name? Zweite Nummer, letzte Don't forget okay. Heather. First? We got to get Heather in too. Right, yes. There we are. All right, Abe and Linda. Zugins von deine Schmeschbuche, die aus der Gelehrten deine Yiddish. Tell them something, Linda. Did we lose them? Okay, we lost. Unmute yourself, Linda. Unmute yourself. That happened. Go ahead, Linda. Can you hear me? My Eltern stammen am Gestamm von Pabianitz. Try and get back on. From Pabianitz. They were some of the lights in Mohomo. And some gewohnt in Lodge in in, in Sadek in Poland, and then a gewesen in uh, in Lager, so in uh, in um, in Lodge, then it's a gewesen, and then a gegan, and then a gegan, and some the genimen se Birkenau. My mama gewesen in Birkenau in Mingala at. Uh, right. Hat gewollt wissen, wie er so ein Mensch Frauen auf dem Kind der, um sie freizig bis zum Gedienstin. Er hat mich gewollt für Zahlen der Meister. Sie gewesen 13 Uhr alt. In meiner Tate gewesen in Auschwitz. Er ist ein Dorf, er war Polak, hat gerät Polisch, so mal auf Bestanden, er sagt Sprachen. In der Nacht sind sie gegangen in Sisruel. My mom had gelegt in a DP camp in uh, Cyprus, but zwei Jahre, and uh, Tata gewesen in a school in Natalia. Er gewesen mit der ha er hat gearbeitet für die, für die, um, ich habe vergessen den Namen von der, nicht für, um, gedenkt nicht den Namen, er hat gearbeitet für die, in the, the resistance Ergen? in Italy. Oh. Mm. In the north of Mizaran and in Tsinatania. In the red state. I was in the school. I was in the Yiddish. 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 Be 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 boinsty, yes. Be boinsty. Yeah. Well, ich bin in Toronto. Yeah. In a in a conesta in the ganze family, but in an elephant a chance to have it. So okay. The philosophy of the landsmanship, the zombie landsmanship. Miss Yetz in Miami, in Florida. Yetz the boins in Florida. No, I've been doing Florida. Yeah, I'm sending in Florida for the winter. In, uh, but I'm from Toronto. So. You're from Toronto. Ah, we visit yeah. in Florida. We went to Florida. Yeah, we do for the. For few months, we do. Five months. Looks more. We we visit in Chabas Chabas Kleine Mines. It was for the Gavolts of. We get going in. For the vaccine, you know, for the vaccine, uh, do in Florida. In the gesitzen by me, an ältere Mensch uh, is given after three and a half to two hours. And if I get kicked off him, we get the hunt to the nurse to get the vaccine. And if we got the number of of him's hunt in yeah. Auschwitz, you know. In Kiku as a man, and it's so Kiku's the man who has been born or has lived. He has lived in the city of Melchoma, he has lived in the city of Melchoma, in Poland, he has lived in the tragedies, and he has lived in the pandemic. So we have a picture that we can only see in the world. Yeah. And this is a a a a mice. It was was the first of its kind that Puma will come in. Very good. Okay. And yes, and Abe. Yes. Can I just say a minute? A word to to. I'm sorry. If you see what he lived through during the war and the anti-Semitism, he's seeing that again, which is a shame. Yeah. 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 Heather Hoffman. 
please <coughs> unmute yourself and go get some. My nomen is Heather Hoffman. Can hit that. My man's nomen is Ron. I'm no, going in Toronto. I have learned by Yiddish with my hoys, in my hoys, from my bubba. And she had spoken Yiddish and Polish. The Federation is from all over the country. Yeah. She is going in Poland in Laga. She had come to do prior to the war, before the war. So my mom is born in Toronto, my tata in England, in Echob. I was born here. How do you say born? Ich bin geboren. Geboren, yeah. gesucht to anybody. You know, I haven't spoken to anybody. Okay, so ich hab zwei Kinder. Ich hab fünf grandchildren. Eine Klach. Was noch bis zu wissen. Wie ist dein Mann? Ich hör, ich hör ihn, aber ich kann ihn nicht sehen. Er ist nicht du. Er ist um, in the under room. <laughs> da, da, da man, wait, da man hat a breeder? Larry? Yes. Larry Hoffman? Yes. I went to school with him, I think, at Bathurst? Yes. I, I went Larry, to school with him. Larry passed away last year. It's oh. Ron's younger brother. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, it was a bad story. He was in my class. Yeah, he was young and oh. anyhow. I'm so yeah. sorry. In English, I'm just going to say if anybody knows of Lugov that uh, was in the area of Rudham, mm -hmm. yeah. please mention it to me. Ichob Gagungan met my man, so Lugov, Kane Mol, Kainer's Nishdu. It was like nobody was there. Gunish to saying, Gunish, not a cemetery, Gunish. Ichob Achet Gagungan. With my man, Suzanne, the there, his tata is Gaboyan in Oshwar. On in Oshwar, there is a cemetery. Hotmir is a Yiddish cemetery in Oshwar, yes. And is but Lagav, they have been gesucht. It, in the center, up, you know, in the um, town, uh, outside the church, Zelda, um, Zelda, uh, Zelda, uh, women. How do you say women? Remind me, women. Frauen, Frauen, Frauen. Frauen. Haben gesagt, start. Ich habe gesagt, and ich habe a tour guide sprechen zu sehen in Polish. No, buried and and yeah, it was not nished as I get a visit. Nished get my heart's mm, terrible. This is, this is interesting. Uh, I saw elder Oben Gewalt Srikain to Russia, to Poland, Zayn versus Gavain, and I saw. Of Nishkabot Srikain, by the Gazux is Gurnish Vert Sagai, says Nishdu, says A. I had some that Srik again in his daughter Gurnish Gewesen. As I had Gewesen. Upper my Bubba, Hotnish Gewalt, Sprachen for Gunish, Ich weiß nicht Gunish for Nishtato, Ich hab gesungen zu her Ma. Zuck mir am Anzug von der Städte, Gunisch zu sagen, ich will nicht sprechen. No, ich weiß Gunisch. Für die ganze Familie, ich weiß Gunisch. Aber mein Bubba hat gebracht, immer du, noch, how do you say war again? Mach, Oma. Oma. Ihr Tata, Ihr Breeder, 
Ihr um, Nephew, aber sie hat gehabt an anderer Breeder, was sein Sehen hat gesehen, so wie die Parents were murdered. Das ist gewesen, nicht geht in my Häusern, als, ich, als er war, when he was there. I want them to translate. You can speak okay. some English, because not Let's everybody speaks. Translate. Ich, hab, ich kann nicht sagen, all Dings, aber, you know. This is Thank good. Welcome. 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 I'm going to let Shirley. Uh, no, Shirley, let's go on. No, let's Are there any other people new to us tonight? Sure, Shirley's got some jokes. We do. Richard, Richard Kaiser, yeah. would you unmute yourself? Zugins von deine Mischpoche, wie aus der Gelehrten deine Yiddish, wie wollen Sie jetzt? Ja, ja, Freund, ihr könnt mir hören? Ja. Ja. Ich bin, äh, ich habe, äh, Gerät Jiddisch in der Heim, in der Heim, aber vielleicht reden Mamelurschen. Ich habe es gelernt von meinem Tate. Und ähm, nicht in keine Schule. Ich bin schon äh, über 50 Jahre, seit er ist gestorben. Und ich habe nicht gerät Jiddisch, ich bin schon 50 Jahre zurück. Aber ich, fand, ich habe nicht vergessen, weil das ist gewesen, am Morgen meine erste Sprache. Ja. Und uh, ich wohne jetzt, uh, jetzt wohne ich in Ohio. Was? Ich wohne in Philadelphia. Where in Ohio? Philadelphia. Where is in, in Ohio? Ja, wie? Wo ist ihr? Wie wohnt ihr? In Ohio. Uh, nicht weit von Cleveland, a suburb. Wie heißt das? Da ist der Sollen. Oh, in the, Mike ist geboren in Cleveland, in der in Cleveland. Ja, ich bin nicht weit von uh, Shaker Heights. Uh, oh. Apartment, Basin von der Finn. Yeah. And uh, uh, was uh, is auch sagen? Mein uh, mein Mutter ist Taki geboren in Amerika in uh, in Philadelphia. Mein Vater ist geboren in uh, in Bessarabia. Bessarabia ist am Morgen Romania. Es ist am Morgen Russland. Begrenzt. Hat gegangen nach hin und nach her. Es ist ein Mugabein Poland, der hat. Ja. Besser Abi ist der Nummer. Und er ist gekommen, du, er ist 1920, er ist ein bisschen früher. Vater Mahoma, Vater Krieg. So. Aber sein Gerät jüdisch in der Stehe. Amo, Amo. Ich bin in a, in a, ich bin in einem Lesenkreis. Einmal am Monat. Wir kommen zusammen in Malenen, schon mal lachen und andere Sachen. Und mein mein Fördung, mein Hobby, mein Fördung ist, ich bin geworden ein Übersetzer von jüdischen Briefen. Ein Übersetzer hat ein Brief von seinem Spruch von der Alter und da, er will, will wissen, wo es ist. Auch. Ich nehme die Schrift, ich kehre es immer auf Deutsch und dann noch auf, auf, uh, auf Englisch. Sehr schön. Sehr schön. Das gefällt mir sehr. Ich will reden ein paar Worte. Okay, Himmel. Ja. Okay, ah, äh, Eine Sache mehr. Letzte, letzte Jahr, ich meine, jetzt bin ich nicht mit der Pandemie, aber letzte Jahr, aber ich gegangen, es ist ein Riefsach von Jiddisch Wach. Es ist gewesen in uh, uh, New Jersey. Und uh, ein Wach, wir kommen zusammen, wir reden neue Jiddisch Dokten. Richtig. Like, I went to, to the... Emil, 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 does that effort so in Zürgen? Emil. Yeah, Emil. Emil. Emil, that's a that's a nomen from the France. Mein mein Bobe and uh, Zaid is coming from uh, France. Alsace Lorraine. Emil's get Germany and straight the is France. Back and forth, you know. But she was mostly French. She's from Alsace. Alsace mostly French. Lorraine is mostly German. 
But uh, it depended what year it was. She was five years old and uh, became Germany. The, the after World War I and went back to France. Anyway, that, the, that was not what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> As the Freud of forgetting the Nomen, the Mice from Raden, thank you, Hab Gehet Raden. came from the Chavit Chaim, and thus is the plot from my Schwege and my Schwagerin, Hag Gekimmen from Raden. So uh, I, I just wanted to say that, that was uh, very... that was me. That was me. Thank you so yeah. much. Lugov is in the area of Rob, Rada. Yeah. and so we were in the area searching and looking. Yeah. yeah, and and part part next to Rodden, there was this part of the family also was in Ashishak. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead. To the the stadel from Ashishak. Wants to teach us a song. Okay, we have we have to break a little bit from that. Uh, I think we covered every new person with us tonight. If you if you if we haven't, we'll catch you next. Raise time. your hand. Okay, we'll get it next time. Okay. All right, Mike Shirley. I just wanted to say I live in Chicago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I know. <laughs> so 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 we, we we've got a, a, a bunch of things to share. I don't know, Barbara, are you comfortable? You had a song you wanted to teach us. Barbara Wynn. You have to take yourself off of mute. So uh, the song is, um, it's, it's kind of appropriate to the times because uh, uh, I'm gonna try to speak in Yiddish. Uh, my yes. mama had said as, when she came in the Yom Tovim, from the Urmen mention, as they are, Barbara, and please yes. wait a second. Uh, if if you're not muted, please mute yourself. We're getting some background noise and we can't hear. Barbara? Yeah. And okay. your talk, so did you all hear what I said before? That when before the holidays, it was a difficult time for uh for poor Jewish people because they had to prepare for the holidays. And the and my mom is Tata, my Zayda Mechel Tabak. At the Arbet Fadi, the Jewish community, I don't know what, it, what it's called, the Gemach, or I don't know. And this is given a very schwer Zeit for him because he had gedacht. Deciding Wiffel to get uh, to get Jaden uh, Jaden or a mensch to essen after young time. And my lead is Nor Sibben Werther, you can't all learn in this lead. So the Werther's end in in Asnish die is Takelai. If not enough, then you have to borrow. And it goes like this. Und as nicht da is talking lie. Und as nicht da 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 Und as nicht a lie is talking da 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 Und as nicht lie is and as nicht da is talking la 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 la. And it just goes on like that. So it's um, it's it's a song that's a where did where did you picture. learn that song, Barbara? I'm sorry. Where did you learn that song? Via the from Stilena. my mother, from my mother, and it was an easy song to learn because just a few words and you just repeat them in simple melody. Very nice, very nice. Mike, did we have Shirley? Uh, are we are we going to see any videos tonight? Mike, you're muted. You're muted, Mike. I didn't say anything. Hope it's not talking. No, it's not talking. Okay. Uh, I I learned a new Yiddish word. Um, a a bicken rink. A bick rink. 
It, it's a bull, a bull ring. Anybody hear of that? But I remember my parents, uh, when they wanted to say something derogatory about a man, they would say it was a bick, like an oaf or something like, or an ox. Anyway, so Aida Shaman is a uh, kim to, uh, to Madrid. And Alts is their gefällt him, Alts gefällt him. And I will gain sehen a big rink. Aber er sieht, dass er auch nicht genug Geld So er geht von sich an ein anderes Tier. And a steigt by the other tier, and a man kommt see to the tier and rief daro a club, and a rief daro matador. And the tier macht sich hoffen, and a guy daran. A steigt and kick, and another man kommt daran, a club, and the tier and a zook, toreador. And the tier macht sich hoffen, and a kim daran. A dritte man kim tun and a zuk picador and the tier macht se hoffman and a gaitaran. So a cleared and a clapped in the tier and zuk isador and the tier macht se hoffman and aim it to kimaran. Should I translate? Should I translate? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, a Jew goes to visit Madrid and he wants to see a bullfight, but he doesn't have enough money for a ticket. So he goes around and he finds a door and he's standing by it. And a man comes by and yells out, Toreador, one of the fighters. And the door opens, he goes in. And Matador, the second man, I'm the bullfighter too. They let him in. Picador is the man who actually puts the swords in. And he got a great idea. He stands by the door and yells out, is a door. <laughs> the door opens up and somebody says, come on, come on in. And yet, <laughs> and yet it's. Yeah. I like that one. Who else has some jokes for us or some, some sayings or we heard some people wanted to do some curses last time. Ooh. <laughs> you want me to mute you? No. I, 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 Betty, did you have something for us? Oh, you're 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 muted. You're muted. That is the other as as what what she start was again about, about the Vonson. Uh, start again. You're okay. unmuted. Okay, I said I have a couple of little jokes I can say in English and in Yiddish. Okay. Okay. This this uh, very very rich Yiddish guy. Uh, he had so much money, he really didn't know what to do with it. And he, what could he buy? So he takes a newspaper and he looks and he sees there's a camel for sale. A camel, that's what I'll buy because, I mean, what else can I buy? Did you hear this, Mike? No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. He may have heard it, but he doesn't remember. I've heard a lot of, cam <laughs> I've heard a lot of camel jokes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. So, so now, Zugins, wait a minute, Betty, Zugins, yeah. the, uh, the rest of the story in Yiddish. Yiddish. In Yiddish. Oh, very right. Okay. <laughs> um, so I got Allah, quite from the camel, no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Allah and the free at gate to Albert, and they are gate mit the camel. And when they came to the Albert and them the camel, and they are felicious, you know, he puts it there and and they get the Albert, and then not not the Albert. I came a trick, and I get the Haim, and this Allah took. Ain't took it came in from the Albert, and the camel nishdu nishdu. It's like somebody came in and gave them the camel back. So I grieved the the police. And police came to, and said, "What was the mayor? My camel is nishdu." I ended up naming my camel. So the police named a uh, paper and, and pencil and shot and they freight them. So if well, this and may have uh, be the camel kicked us. So it, 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 uh, the, the policeman said, 
the policeman said, it's given a, a man or given it's a, a male or female. So it's gesagt, it's a male. So the policeman said, the weiss gunish gunish from the camel for what the weiss as there is a male. So it's gesagt, all of all of more in the morning in the free and when I go to Arbeit, they all give me a geschrei. Has there ever seen a zombie in Greece smack on a camel? Okay, you have a legal. Are you finished? Uh, in English, he said, Did you ever see such a big schmuck on a camel? <laughs> I, think, I think we got it. I think. I think. <laughs> Esther, uh, you have a song for us. Yeah, ich habe ein Lied, was mein Mann hat gesungen zu mir, wenn ich bin ein Kind, und ich habe es gesungen zu meinen Kindern, wenn sie gewesen sehr klein. Und ich kann es spielen auf my iPhone, aber ich hoffe, das kann ich nicht hören. Ein Minute, ich kann es... Okay, just a minute. Ich will das hören. No. Nein. Nein. You guys help name to name to the computer. And then we mention why we named men a pizza le hot chainsa and then named men a pizza le glee. Men men a pizza le hot chainsa pizza le named a pizza le glee. Bernardo has the words. Bernardo. Well, I, Very good, Bernardo. 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 Uh, All right. I was just trying to help her out. <laughs> Couldn't share it. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, next week, Bernardo, we expect you to sing that song for us. Yeah. I will okay. I will do that. Who is that? Somebody can say, I know the words to it too, because I but I wanted you to have the uh, the melody. It's a beautiful little song. It is. Absolutely. Who's, it's not a it's not a it's not a little song, it's a great song. It's a great song, right? We never been up this on the muzzle. That's the whole thing. The crux that's the crux of it. My right. mother my mother used to sing it to me, and I used to sing it to my children. As I did the same. Absolutely. Same. Yes, yes. Bernardo, you sing it in same Spanish. Mother. Bernardo, you sing it in Spanish too? And we if you want me to, I can also. And then more. Started Yiddish. Yeah. Surely, do we have any videos? Yeah. And any what? I got a video. Got one here. We have one. Yes. Okay. Right. Let me share. Hold on. I've got a couple. This one. Yeah. This one. With. Okay. This is uh, Hava Alberstein, and uh, these are Yiddish gypsy songs. The Gaina. Are you going to share these? That was it? No. Not hearing it. Uh, 
Gegangen ist Hatterling, still und verhüllt, so losen die goldblonde Zelt. Das Hälsland bläust, ungemurmelt verhüllt, das Lied der Tralala. Da kommt ihr entgegen, a Bocher, a Schwarze, mit Locken, mit Schwarze, er flammt mit die Augen und entfährt ihr lustig und entfährt ihr tralala. Was suchst du, du Mädchen? Was hast du für Leute? Was willst du gefinden in Groß? Ich such Margaritkes. Reute sich habe, reute sich tralala. Du suchst noch, und ich hab schon ein Tage gefunden, die schönste Margaritke in der Wald. A Margaritke mit Zöpfen und mit Eugen Saphir, mit Eugen Saphir. Ich hab sich vergessen. Ich such da nicht weit, ist ein Kau. Der Quell ist geschlossen und mir bleibst du durstig beim Quell. Ich will gar nicht trinken. Ich such mir das Schotten. Die Sonne backt da rein. So heiß, meine Haare sind in Schwarze und Killer wie Schotten in der Welt. Lass mich, mein Tornik. How about that video of that uh, woman cooking? Okay, let's do that. Let me find her. I got it here somewhere. This was something that Rose sent. Rose, you want to talk about that for a second? Roz, 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 Roz. It was I sent to me. Okay, let's see if we can find it. By somebody in Atlanta that grew up with uh, his father, Charlie Goldberg's sister. Okay, let's see if I can get this to work here. Hold on a second. Here you go. Oh, oh, this is. It's not moving, Mike. This point. Stop moving. Move it on our screen. Let's see. It started, started at the beginning. It's not moving. It's just frozen. Okay. Is it working? Can you see it? Michael. <laughs> The Michael. Oh, Dang, or a soy green? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
but a hoax sold up. And for a cost price, falsche gehackte Leber, der Baba Ganoush, und Nisches. Look, so. Oder Oder Armenisch Pomidor. In the Michael, Nahid Kotletten. The spaghetti in cash. In an Afrikaner pearl drop pudding, a panoch spice. A ganze cider. Look at him. Es gesehen. Do we have time for that one? We'll be shivering. Tell him we're doing one more. Okay. I've got to try to share one more. This is another one that was sent to us by Roz. And let's see if we can share it. I got all these Yiddish people sending them to me. That's great. I know. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if I can find it. Here we go. I'll share this. Now this is going to be small on your screen, but you'll see it. This is this. Tell them about who this is. This is your cousin, right? No, this was. Yeah, he sent it to me though. Okay. How would Arfinkel send it? From France, this is from France. Jeff, Jeff ja. Newton, was der Mainz Nicht einmal ist für eine andere Zeit. Hätte doch gedruckt zurück, ich habe gesehen auf dem Video von dem National Jüdischen Theater Volksbühne. Es gibt ein Megillus Esther, der ganze Megille, nur auf Jüdisch. Ich habe das geschickt zu Mike. Aber uh, ihr könnt gehen zu uh, dem uh, National Jewish Theater Volksbühne uh, Site und uh, wir können sehen das. Es ist gewesen. Ich habe gesehen, es ist sehr schön. Ja, ich werde diese Sites in der Folge schicken, später in dieser Woche. Mike? Ja. Yeah. It's David Petru. Can I ask a question? Sure. All the, people, all the people from Toronto. Do any of you know Sam and Nina Nidievsky? No? I didn't hear you. Oh, I said, 
I'm asking the people from Toronto if they know Sam and Nina Nivetsky. Not me. Maybe. You can you can uh, put out a uh, send that to Mike and Mike will will send it out to all of our members to see yeah, if anyone. Will. Okay, if, anyone if I know knows. how to spell their last name. <laughs> so that's that's tricky. So that Esther Michelson, true. Esther Michelson, um, there's been a lot of folks here that were on earlier that would really like to get in like your Facebook page to maybe hear some of your. So so will you accept them if they? Yeah, um, if they come in, yes. But my, our group is mostly Torontonians because we have the same history. Most of us lived in the same area, went to the same schools at different times. Uh, ours is a group that really gets together physically. Um, it's just because of because of the pandemic, we haven't been able to get together. And most of these women, and we've already over 400, we started with 10, we're over 400. Um, we, when we got together, it was a group of women that hadn't seen each other. They were all children of children. survivors. And we were all knew each other when we were young. Mm -hmm. So when we all got into the same room, many of us knew each other, hadn't seen each other since we were kids when our parents played cards or bar mitzvahs or weddings, because these were our families. We had no families. Well, but I do saw. put a lot of, in, in, they can come on the site, you know, and we're looking to learn from you because I, I know Anita and, and Esther and Shirley and there's others here in Charleston are interested yeah. in, but, in, in, in seeing yeah, what you've been doing. Yeah, they have to be a daughter of Survivor. Yeah, so they have to be daughters of Survivors. But when I do a Zoom, were you on my Zoom that I did last week? No, we didn't, we didn't, I don't think you accepted us yet. Okay. Well, we, we did a Zoom. No, I said, yeah, I had it on the, I had it on the site. We had um, a psychiatrist on because we can't get together. So I had a psychiatrist who came and she's a daughter of Survivors and she's probably the most well-known person who talks about trauma. We talked about what it was like growing up. She talked about what it was like growing up and what it's like going through this pandemic. And the DNA that we have because of this pandemic, where a lot of us get ready, panicked, and we had to have the toilet paper, we had to have an extra freezer for the food. We all had to be prepared because that's we went into survival mode. She talked about a lot of things that the girls thought of, but nobody had ever was able to confirm a lot of the thoughts that we had growing up with our parents. So that's what we have in common. Um, but most of us will get together at another date, hopefully within this year. So tell, tell me the name now. of the site, and I'm going to show it to people. What, what's it's it called? called? It's called the Toronto Do Toronto Area Daughters of Survivors. I think I'm on it. Area. Can it I ask a only... question, Mike? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Does anyone know Michael Buckstein? He owns a company called it, but I don't think... Manufacturing what's Company. What's it called? Is a cancer specialist. What's Buxton, the name yes, of this company? That's where I heard the name. Buxton. The company is Faraday, but Faraday, Michael no. Buckstein is his name. Okay, just thought I would try. Is Buckstein an orthopedic doctor? Wouldn't be. It's not. No, she is a cancer specialist, yeah, right, really the and he is um, in yeah. manufacturing. So you do, Barbara. Toronto group, and that is. Um, are you? Uh, are you? Uh, the group that supports uh, the uh, Liberation Seventy Five. Yes. Um, we don't. I I personally yeah. su support it, but our group doesn't support anything. It's pretty much free when we got together, except for twenty dollars one time to pay for dessert. I um I took it on as a mitzvah for my parents mm -hmm. to do something like this. I never dreamt that it would grow from ten girls to seventy to one hundred eighty to. 350 would have had last time. Now we're over 400. So I don't want to be this, this to be a charity of any kind. If I were to do something and it's getting bigger and I'm going to, I do, I do have a girl that volunteers to help with the data piece because it's really getting big. But if I ever do anything, I would do it only to give the money to probably an organization who teaches Holocaust studies. I, but I don't want to get into that because I don't want to have to worry about the money. I'm very involved in charity myself. I do a lot of charity work for organization a home in israel that i am involved in and also for a home in israel in toronto for developmentally handicapped it started as a jewish organization it still is but because the government came in and asked for help now it's non-denominational but the homes are 
kept kosher. I don't want this to be a charitable thing. And that's why it's growing because people don't want to be asked. We, us girls needed to talk about growing up as children with survivors. And it's something nobody's ever tapped into. And we got together, we talked, we laughed, we told jokes, jokes, but jokes about true stories, what happened to us growing up. And we were fishing in our pants. Right, Evie? Yes, it was. Yes. And we you, you know what it was like. It you was, know, the, it was the, the, the beautiful thing about what you're sharing is that from a handful of survivors, there are that many children and women of survivors in the Toronto area. God bless them all. Because, uh, yeah, and we, and, you know, we, 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 at this group, Montreal was out, pretty big too. Everyone, sorry. At yeah, the, uh, go ahead, Eddie. At this group that go Esther, ahead, Esther organized, um, we found out that a lot of our parents, our mothers were in the same concentration camp and the daughters we never knew. And if we had known this when, when we were younger, we would have known more stories about our parents and what they'd gone through. Absolutely. And that was the thing that we lost, unfortunately, in all these years that went by. But um, it's, it was an awakening that so many of us, our, our group, were, had parents, had mothers in the same concentration camp. That's what I found which in Shkarshis. But yeah. So it was. I just uh, wanted to. Was, I, just, I, I wanted. I wanted to read you one thing that one person wrote that I I didn't really know this girl, but she came, and everybody had to understand or speak Yiddish. We didn't have Hungarians. We didn't have Czech daughters. We had. It was started as a Yiddish group of daughters of survivors. I had to open it up though because so many girls called me that wanted to be a member of this, even if they were parents were not Polish. So this girl said, I had the most amazing and most interesting time. This will tell you what it was like. I laughed, I cried, I reminisced, I excelled, I shipped Nassus, I spoke Mumbolution, I met Ludsman I hadn't seen in years. I learned, I shared, I was moved, my Neshuma was touched and fulfilled. In short, I loved every minute of tonight's experience. She said, kudos to you and my sister, who started the Facebook site, for initiating this sensational group of women and for perpetuating a legacy that would have made all of our remarkably special parents so proud. Is up to our generation to never forget and to always share the incredible stories that were left in our care. Many, many thanks for providing us with a forum that encouraged us to continue to, con to, continue to share. Well, I got so many emails after that. I didn't realize what my sister started and I kind of took over because I knew a lot more daughters of survivors and I had still friends with a lot of girls from school. And we were a lot of, a lot of us didn't even know we were children of survivors, but then I found out as I got older. So it just started to grow. And it's something that I don't think when I had that therapist on that she wrote me a letter and she had, we had 480 people oh, sign up. Okay. 480 okay. people. That was amazing. And a lot of emails from people that, that really resonated with the psychiatrist. Yes, if somebody wants to, Barbara. Uh, Barbara, you wanted to say something. That's the mic. We can't hear you. you oh, oh you, your microphone's off. Your microphone's off. We don't hear you, Barbara. Yeah. No, you're, no, you're still muted. Barbara, you're on mute. You're on mute. No, I think she's got a microphone problem. Okay, now she's fine. No, we don't hear you, Barbara. On mute. Sorry, yeah. nothing. We're get, we're uh, fifteen minutes over time. Some of us are going to be leaving. If you want to stay and keep schmoozing and yeah. chatting a little bit, you're welcome to do that. Michael, can you? Yeah, and Betty, Betty, I know you were just raising your hand. David, you're going. David, David are you raising your hand or are you waving goodbye? I'm waving goodbye. Thank you. It was a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you. See you, see you in two weeks. Two weeks. Betty, you have something you want to yeah, say? Yeah, I would like to know uh, how did so many survivors get to Toronto, Canada? Oh, I mean, like, by luck, I they have, got to Canada. I have nowhere to go. No, I mean... See, they are, my, my parents waited for whoever would take them, and Canada opened up. She had an uncle in, in Rochester and an uncle in Toronto, so she got to Toronto. But we have a lot of Montrealers in the 70s when they're the Quebec, the the Quebec Wall was a political thing, came into power. A lot of children of survivors' parents that leave now 
and don't stay in Quebec because there's a lot of anti-Semitism. So they came to Toronto. So we have we must have three hundred thousand Jews in Toronto. Wow. You did have to have a Jewish, Jewish city. Amazing city. I've spent a lot of time there. Yeah, it's a nice city. It, it, and you know what's uh, unbelievable? That we do not have a real freestanding Holocaust museum in Toronto. We have something in the uh, the JCC, which is the Jewish Community Center, but there's, with all the Jews, we should have had a freestanding building. But we don't. It's true. So, so you know, uh, Michael, if you, yeah. Michael, if you want to send out the uh, the Esther, uh, Esther that we had, I sent you the link. Yes. Esther. Oh, Jai, look who's here, huh? Sheila. I, Sheila, right there. They get the Yiddish. Esther, we have a standing thing in Earl Bales Park. Yes, I, yeah, we have, but yeah, we have that, but it's not a freestanding museum. In Earl Bales. But it's not a museum where you would see the artifacts, the pictures of the families. You've seen our, have you seen our pillar there? We've, have you seen mine? No. We have one too. I have to go see it. When it gets sunny, we'll go for coffee, we'll go see it together. Yeah, but yeah, we have it there sure. too. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Na Naomi, Hi, Naomi, Naomi Hi, surely Hi, asked if you stay Anita. on. Anita, are you leaving Anita, us? Where, Anita, where are you from? I, I, we're from Anita. I get we're the from knock. The knock. The knock. The knock. Naomi. Naomi. Naomi, where are you? Sidewalk. You have to stay on. Shirley's going to outdo you, she said. She's got a very good joke. They are the joke. Uh, Shirley, the Shirley. Shirley, they are the vids. This is between Naomi and me. <laughs> oh, everybody wants to hear it, though. Come on, give it to everybody. Come on, Shirley, go for it. Okay. Ich schäm sich nicht. Motto and Yoso helfen aus mit der Hebre Kedisha. And uh, the Teute, the kick, give him a kick and oi, gewalt. Yoso, the Hokaimo nicht gesehen, a zang, roisen, schmecko. And Yoso, um, zucked, oh, ich weiß nicht, ich hoba zans. And Yoso kicked the frame, the motto, the danner is a zoi grois. And motto, zucked, nein, a zoi toit. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> you want, would you like to it, would you like to interpret for those of uh, yes please <laughs> interpret it okay go ahead I, I have a clean They're one of English. Oh, in English I have a clean Which, one wait, okay. wait. Moto and Yoso are volunteering for the Hebra Kadisha and while they're taking care of the dead body, Yoso takes a look and he says, oh my God, I have never in my life seen such a big schmeckle. Uh, and uh, Moto says, oh, I don't know. I have one like that. And Yoso says, what? Yours is so big? And Moto says, no, so dead. <laughs> 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 Naomi, are we even now? Vina Sutman, Vina Sutman, north, south, east, and west in Yiddish. That's a good one for Paul. Bus zur Nachmo, Frig Nachmo. Vina Sutman, Vina. Vina Zuckman, north, Wait. south, and east and west in Yiddish. Jeff, give us an answer. Those are beats, are the damn. Do Dorothean and Slick. Do Dorothean and Slick. Do Dorothean and Slick. Has anybody ever heard the Yiddish Indian story? The what? Nobody. What I, I is have it? the, it's the Yiddish Indian story. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, no. yeah, I'm sure you've heard oh, it. We've, we've heard they it were, it's a long one. Okay, that, it is hard. You got to read it in phonetics, right? In Jewish Indian. Okay, a let's go. Oh, Richard has it. Okay. Richard has it. Look. You have it. Look, it. I got it on my phone just in case I read meet a rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> you know the story, Joe. Yeah. Okay, I'll save it for another time. I'll save it for another time. Richard, you should do it. Please, 
please read it because I do, I can't. All That's all, all I see eh? is all I see is Der Tata Geronowitz. I don't. What do I know? It's easy to translate it. I'll save it for next time. You want me to say it next time? The dry Indiana. The dry Indians, yeah. The mamas, uh, yeah. Kirwanowicz. The dry Indians. Polka Yenta. Polka Yenta. Polka Yenta. Polka Yenta. I read that. I read that in the beginning when we first started the meet. I read that. Oh, did you? That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. So we know who wants it. I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. I guess it's the name of the flesh you get tomahawk. That's right. Hey, look at the the last part of the whole mantra. I'd love to hear it. Okay. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Okay. Looking good, Anne. Thank you, Esther. You too. Banana. Banana. Do you read Spanish or English? No, not Spanish. Si, si. But the name of Banana. That's a bit Spanish. I read a bit of Spanish. In the percent. Anne, are you Eisenberg? Yes. Yes, she's an Eisenberg. And she lived on your street. Are you here? You lived right from your parents. You lived on Sandale? Yeah, two doors away from your parents. And my parents lived across the street from your brother-in-law's parents. My father and your brother-in-law's father were friends. And Naomi and Ellen are also friends friends of mine with, with um, Lynn what and was your maiden? What was your maiden name? My maiden Lynn. name was Eisenberg. Oh, oh. Did, did you live on water? My parents lived on Waterloo across the street from your in-laws, yeah. Oh, on Waterloo. That was from your parents. Yeah, and I lived on Sandy. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. We ran into each other at- I didn't uh, recognize you. It's been, been a, few a few years. It's been just a few years. Yeah. <laughs> time I think I saw you were, was at um, Stephen and Lynn's at a barbecue, I think. Yeah, we don't have to. Let me tell them good night. All right, tell them. Yeah. There's nobody that really cares. Oh, Esther. Mike. Yes. I'm going to show night. you a picture of Shirley's Bob. Hi, Shirley. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. This is this is a young, very young version of her Bob. Oh, she that? looks like me. She says it looks like me. She's thirty. That's Shirley's that? mother. Oh, Shirley, yeah. that's yes. Michael Mills' wife's mother. Yeah. Uh, Good your night, everybody. Mother, what Did have you? night? What town was your mother from? Esther, where, where is your family, family from? from? My mother, my father is from Trinstochowa, Poland, and my mother is from Apatow. Apatow. Uh, Romania. Uh, uh, Romania. My mother is from yeah, Czech. Oh, yeah. Esther. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. Uh, do you know a family by the name of Zagdansky in Toronto? Yes. No. Yes. Do you? Yes. Knows. I, I know who they are. No, they're, they're, I used to they're actually, European. I used to clean a Zandansky in uh, Baycrest. Yeah. Father. Uh, Henry Zagdansky is uh, my cousin. Well, he's oh. passed away now. Yeah. Yes. I know who And we know are. the kids. I'm but sorry. There's a child named Henry now. I know There's a great grandchild. Named Henry it's, now. Well, yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, Henry had uh, two Barry boys, and and two girls. <laughs> yeah, and he was he was a, <laughs> boy, right? a what? He was a Baycrest. Uh, I'm not sure of the Bears. area that he was in. No, he, he, said lived, he was, was lived in a, a home. He, he a had home. a dress. He had a dress factory, and he was in in the building construction That's business. Right. Also. That's right. That's right. I know yeah. who he is. Yeah, I used to clean his teeth at Baycrest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you used to work there too? He also had two sons. Yeah. Barry and Ian? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, bad, I met the too daughter. Bad we didn't have, too bad we didn't have the internet when our parents were around. Eh? We could find family. I just sent everybody, I posted yeah. on our website the story of two friends who met each other just for lately after 70 some odd years, didn't know they were alive. 
I always ask my parents, how come you don't, don't you know if anybody was alive? They relayed, they relied on the, on the Red Cross, you know, but I'm sure there must be somebody somewhere. Don't you ever think of that? My uncle, my mother, my uncle, my uncle from New Jersey, we introduced him to Howard Chandler from Toronto and they hadn't seen each other since, since uh, labor camp 70 years ago. And I have a picture yeah, of them good. reuniting. I have a video of them. In Florida. I have to, yeah. I was, have to tell you, I was about 15 years ago, I went to, 15, years, I went to a, an unveiling. And there's this tall, skinny girl. I thought for sure she's not Jewish. Tall and skinny. And I see her at different events. And we start talking. And I said, you know, let's go out for dinner after, after the unveiling. We went out for dinner. I said, so your parents are, you're born in Canada. She said, yeah. I said, your parents are Canadian? She says, no, no, no. She says, my parents are from, my mother was from Skarzysko, where our parents were in the camps, where our mother was in the camps. Right. Her mother was from Skarzysko. I says, my mother's from Skarzysko. She was in the same camp as her mother. So she says, can you call your mother and see? My mother didn't have Alzheimer's then. I called my mother's mother, Gedenks Milgram, Virgil uh, um, um, Milgram. She says, you sure? Because she was and the Zelda I couldn't believe it. They slept together. If it got pissed and cut, whatever. He said, you were afraid to go out. Otherwise, you could get raped or killed by the... So we became friends. And she had an uncle and aunt. So my mother met them. And my mother used to sing in the camps. And her uncle used to have, take a comb with, you know, wax paper, blow into it. You gave it some, some kind of music. And they remember each other from their camps. So I always said to my mother, why weren't you friends with the people that you knew from camp? Because a few of my friends' mothers were in the same camp. Rosie Sandler, you know, Rosie uh, Hughes. Oh, was with your mother too, and um, Redlick Beverly Redlick's uh, the uh, Reuben Redlick's mother. They were in the same camp. So I said, "Why weren't you ever friends with the people that you were in camp with?" And I look back now. Who wants to remember the details of what happened in those camps? Who knows yeah. what they were hiding, right? You, you so know, nobody. They had luncheon, but they weren't close friends with the ones that they lived with in those camps. Really, they had but, uh, you know, terrible memories. They didn't want the memories. But you know, a lot of them, yes. like my parents, they wanted to forget. They wanted to forget because yes. my, my parents yes. were in Auschwitz when my mother was there for nine months. And all she wanted to do after the war, they wanted to forget. They didn't want to speak Polish. They just wanted to totally forget what they, they went us. through. So what well, not, only, not only what they went through the war, but before the war, when they were young and going to school, yeah. now the Polacks mistreated them going to school also. So who wanted to remember? Who wanted to remember? No, they didn't want to remember. But when you know, Steel when I said, movie, when I said, when, when, when I said to my mother, you know, I'm going to Poland with my son to see where you live. My mother says, I don't want to go to Poland. You go is into it. You know, no, my parents said, "Guide us to Poland. Get us to I'm sent to those Polakins." That's what she was. You know, you oh, know, my parents never went. I never went. My my parents were from Radom, okay. Yeah, and right uh, there. yeah, and there was a lot of people from Radom that were in in Toronto. They went to ended up in Toronto yes. too. A my lot best of people. girlfriend. Right. A, big a lot, a lot of a lot of people from Toronto. Did I mean, you know Kirschenblatt? Did you know Kirschenblatt? Yeah. They yeah, the name rings a bell. But I, I, I spent some time in Toronto. I, I traveled there many, many, many times uh, because I used to purchase merchandise there uh, for export for other countries. But uh, yeah, the, but there was a tremendous amount of uh, of Jewish people that immigrated to, a big to Canada. To very big. You know, if you big. go on this, there's a website you can find it. There's a, a website that does my father's area and Radom. If you ever want to go on there, you can find your family on that very easily. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm very well aware of it. Uh, and now Craig, that we're -R 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 now that we're now that we're getting older, now that we're getting older, now we're getting now it seems like now we maybe have more time to to do more investigating. That we're the problem doing, is we have nobody to ask. Now we have no. Well, no, that's another. Stuff, that's another you know? thing. That's another thing. Okay. I, have, I have cousins of mine from where I grew up. I grew up in Argentina after the war, and I have cousins of mine. They're my age, 
and those are the only people that I can talk to them and they still remember yeah, from yeah. the old mama lotion as to what my mother, my father, their okay. mother, their father, you know, are, were able to tell them. That's what I know. I know that if you do your DNA, it works because Naomi was the first person that came up when I did the DNA and it came up, Naomi, I said, this really works and I've never met anybody else, Naomi. Well, I, I want to tell you a DNA story. That's, that's where cousins. I want to tell you a DNA story about Shirley. This, this is, sit down, Shirley. So, so Shirley, so, so our son did the 23 and me. Now Shirley's, fam, Shirley's mother was basically taken from Romania at 14 years old. I think she was 14 years old at private school and they took her off to Odessa or somewhere like that at slave labor. She, she, she never found anybody in her family. So two years ago, our son did the 23 and me and he found a close cousin and we contacted her. And um, so we asked about who she was. Well, it turns out that this, this girl's grandmother was Shirley's grandmother's sister. sister. Mm. Wow. You know, wow. And, and where were you born? And she says, oh, I was born in Cleveland, Ohio. I said, Cleveland, Ohio, where in Cleveland, Ohio? She says, she told us the street. I said, you know, Shirley grew up three streets away from you. She said, you're kidding me. Yeah. And my mother, my father was there, which would be Shirley's mother's first cousin. Mm. And her grandmother was there, which was, would have been Shirley's mother's aunt. And they left Cleveland because they had no family there. And they lived there for years. I mean, just wow. it's mm -hmm. amazing. But we now know the two girls, <laughs> know those two women who are cousins. So, um, you know, so you get your ancestry. And I, I, uh -huh. we found so much stuff on the DNA, from the DNA and from the search. Right. Found family everywhere. We found family in uh, Sweden. I've got, I found a cousin in Sweden. And, uh, huh. you know, Anyway, you don't have, I don't think you have any. Have, you don't have. You had an uncle. You were lucky. You had one uncle that survived. Have Who us? Yeah. Yeah, you had yeah. one uncle, my, Naomi. Yeah. My father's Shirley's younger brother, brother ten yeah, years brother, younger. Yeah. And Shirley's dad's okay. brother was with. He her. just died last year. I remember. Did you have that, Annie? Do you have anything? Anybody that your family had? Your father, Me? brother. Me? Yeah. My yeah. Father? No, your mother, father. <laughs> From my father's side, my father was the fifth of seven children and six survived. And my mother was the oldest of five and all five survived. Oh, wow. But my mother's family, um, they were in the ghetto in Benjin. And my grandmother was called to go to a labor camp. And my mom was 15 and she said, no, you stay with the little ones because she was the oldest of five. The, the youngest one, Alex, was three. She said, you stay and I'll go in your place. So yeah, my mother right went, in. yeah, my mother went to Tashkent. She was sent to Tashkent uh, for the war. And apparently my grandmother died two weeks later. So my mother could have stayed with them and the four siblings had gone. They were sent to um, an orphanage in St. Petersburg. And my mother saw them for a very brief time after the war, but they lost touch because of the Cold War. And uh, the Red Cross hasn't been able to help. I've, I've often wanted to find them. And it was wow. funny, I was selling my parents' house on Waterloo. The woman who bought my house, her name is Irina. Um, she and her husband came in and immediately, you know, we felt, we felt bonded. They were just lovely, lovely people. And the mother was talking and asked about where my family was from and where they are. And I said, yeah, my, my mother had three sisters and a brother and they were all in St. Petersburg and all three sisters are doctors. And she said, wait, my mother still lives in St. Petersburg. My mother's a doctor. Let me see what she can find out. Wow. So the next week she calls me up and she said, this is completely crazy. Everything is beshert. Your three aunts went to medical school with my mother. My mother knew them because they were an anomaly, like three girls from the same family, three sisters in medical school at the same time was a huge anomaly. Um, and they were friends during medical school. So I said, well, does she know where they are? No. Oh. <laughs> into them. So who knows? Wait one minute. Sit down. I, uh, Wait till I finish. Yeah. You know, the stories that you hear are just miraculous. Um, so, my mother huh? was taken away so, very huh? early, uh, so she didn't know what happened to her family once she was liberated by the Russians. And my mother was 
maybe 18 when she was liberated. And she decided she doesn't want to go back to Romania. And she, they crossed the Alps. There was an Israeli guide that came and helped this young group of people get to the DP camp uh, outside of Milan, Italy. That's review with Ann and parents. That's how, my, yeah, and, from the same DP camp. That's how my parents, they went through the Swiss Alps and they got married on the Alps. And they said that when they were getting married, they had to rip up their ketubah and throw it because they couldn't have any papers. They didn't want to be sent back. And they were, they were being hidden, you know, um, snuck in to Italy. So that they went the same yeah, way. Probably in Trieste. Probably so in Trieste, like Italy, yours. She mother. met my father, who was also um, a survivor. And I actually was born there. Uh, but because my mother had some problems, uh, she delivered me in a regular hospital. So I have citizenship. I know people uh, from Germany or Poland don't don't have that. Uh, anyway, we ended up in Israel uh, after being in Cyprus, incarcerated by the British. So my mother, of course, the Red Cross tried to look for, she looked for her family, my dad looked for his family, nothing. And I just assumed that my sister and I don't have grandparents, because actually all the kids in Israel in our neighborhood uh, they were all survivors kids and we didn't have any families whatsoever so when I was nine my mother walks in with an older woman and they're both crying and my mother says this is your grandmother and I said you no told me you're dead. my mother was waiting for a bus at a bus stop in Tel Aviv we, I was raised in Israel and she saw an older woman and they started to look at each other and they recognized each other as mother wow. and daughter after no. 56. I've never heard such a story. And, You're kidding. Uh, that was just amazing. This, this should be documented. In Israel, you know, mir we this call them miracles. Documented. It's, um, it's been a miracle. Can you imagine? Uh, you? <laughs> there she wow. Says, yeah, that's a well, story I, that should be told. Yeah. So we have a we have a friend in Cincinnati, whose late husband was also born in Tashkent, and um, his name his father's name Arye. was Ar Arye or Lee, and the last Le name was Lerhaupt. Lerhaupt. If any of uh, does that ring, know, ring a bell to you? But she would. But they, they Is also, there anyone you can ask? Me? Yeah. Because yeah. you said something about when you're when, but, when, mom, when you come into the website, when you come into the Daughter of the Survivors, tell your story, and put a picture and talk about Lair House. And maybe, and there's also, I can send you a few more websites because there's a lot of websites in Toronto. There's one that's just Jewish Toronto. There's one about uh, life before the Holocaust. And there's all kinds of uh, Facebook sites that you can put on uh, the, the, from the town that you were from. I know there's one for Chenstehov. Up, there's probably one from where the town you were from, or Italian Jews after mm -hmm. the after the Holocaust. There's all kinds of Facebook sites. People are looking for people. That's how they're finding them on Facebook. Uh, sure, didn't they have colonization the colonization um, organizations in Canada for Jewish uh, uh, for coming into um, Halifax? Didn't they have colonization <laughs> settlements? For Jews. Yes, they did. Yeah, but I don't know. The majority, wherever they went, they ended up coming to Toronto for the much of business. But there is, there were some that went to a lot of small towns, Timmins, and where they didn't have, they all went into the clothing business in small towns, and they were sent out west. But the majority of them were in Montreal or Toronto. As a matter of fact, uh, last year I found out just by accident, um, somebody asked me if I'm going to this. Um, it was uh, honoring the children of, honoring the parents and that they wanted to meet the children. This man who was 98 years old, his father helped bring in Jews from Poland and be Taylor. So it was called the Taylor Project. I thought he said T-A-Y-L-O-R, it's Taylor, like a nighter, sower. Mm -hmm. And they sent, they wanted 5,000 Jews to come into Canada, these three men who were in the garment business in Canada, and they wanted to bring them into Toronto. So government allowed them to bring 2,500. So everybody, they, they, they sent these two, these two guys. One was Poslin's family, 
you know, and one was, um, I can't remember the guy's name. Anyway, so they went, they brought 2,500 people back. I always thought my father-in-law, my husband thought that his father came from Poland as a, um, through an uncle, like it just, he sponsored him. It's not true. When I sent those papers into the um, uh, center, the uh, Holocaust center, they looked up Albert's father's immigration papers, which looks very much like it is. But when I went on to see what the Taylor project was about, sent it to her, she sends it back. He says, yeah, your father-in-law came in as a tailor, not the first group, but the second group. But they sent him to a furniture factory. We're all in the furniture business. They sent him to a furniture factory and he was sewing the sofas. That's how we got into this. He got into the furniture business. My father got in because of a cousin, right? The Freiburg. Anyways, we never knew. So we were invited to this 800 people were there. And the man met a lot of the families. They talked about how these families grew. And they all came because of their, his father brought them in on a tailor project because he fought with the government to allow them in. But I didn't realize our Trudeau, the prime minister walks in and nobody knew he was coming. And with him, he brings, uh, after he does a speech about inclusion, how Canada is good for all the, all the immigrants and all the mm -hmm. Jewish people who made a living here, a, a Muslim man comes up and he introduces this Muslim. He wants us to know that he's, in, he's also inclusive. He brings him a shirt that he just made from his factory. We were all stunned. We had no idea. It was all for a pitch for election. That's what all it was about. You know, yep. he wasn't doing it to honor this man whose father brought in all these Jews. He wanted to bring in this Muslim to say that even the Muslims are included. He's in a factory making these shirts. We were all stunned, I have to tell you. But anyway, I found out that Albert's father didn't come in through this relative who asked me many years ago that they want a monument somewhere in the city because if it weren't for her father, she's 101, this woman now, if it weren't for her father, that Albert wouldn't have the lifestyle he has. I couldn't believe she asked me after she took us out for lunch, she wanted me to do that. Meanwhile, he never, what he did was he found a place to live on King Street when he came, but he did not sponsor me. He came through the Taylor Project which I had never heard anything about. I got to the Taylor Project. There were so many girls I knew that parents were in the Schmutz business and they came through the Taylor Project. I never heard about that I'll, project look it up. Yeah. until, I'll recent, send, I'll until send last it. year. Yeah, I, I read yeah, about it, was it on, last year. Did I. And that's you the first I time I ever Mary heard Bean about it. Says, yeah, Mary Bean, you should, said you should come to this. I said, I, I don't know anything about the Taylor Project. And then I... I went to the website, I see the paper, immigration papers look like just like Albert's parents, which I have them hanging in my office, right? And I sent it to them and she sent me the verification. She showed me the paperwork. So then I went down to the archives. You should go to the archives. You, you found things that I, I never I, saw a letter that my father tried to bring a cousin in from Argentina and they denied him. Those papers are there. You'll be surprised who, who to see the what's in there. papers in? Did you, did you guys? I'll, I'll, because no, I went to the I archives no, I, and I, I gave no them some Did papers. You? Yeah. Yeah. And they took it. But um, yeah. And they, Did they ever look for you? Did they ever look? Do you know how your father came? No, I just donated them to the to the archives. No, but how did your father come from oh, my Canada? father, My, my mother came somebody? because, yeah, by Auntie Dora. My Auntie Dora okay. found my mother's name on a list of, we were supposed to go to Israel. And then at the last mm -hmm. minute, she found my mother's name on a list of survivors. And she went to pluck chickens cross. to bring us over. She paid for us to come, yeah. come here. Yeah. I but, remember going to her father's place. And we called him the chicken flucker, your father. I remember going to Kensington with my mother. Yeah, my father sold chickens. And, and, the and chickens. then later he sold yeah. cattle. Yeah. yeah, he was a horse trader in Hi. Poland. On that and, note, and my father was a butcher. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, anyway, Bye, nice to see you all. Late. We'll nice to see you. Bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. 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 Nice to see you, Naomi. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.